All right, girls, let's experiment with our cow and tulips. So sweet one. So we have our landscape paper. And as always, we start with composition. Yeah. So the cow is not that small. Look, it takes almost all the paper. So the mouth is almost till the end. The horns almost to the top here, the ears. Yeah, so this is this is somehow so I can let's say maybe mark the size of my cow. So maybe these are the ears. Yeah, maybe somewhere here will be my mouth. So I'm marking kind of here also the horns. Yeah, just playing, playing with the shape, trying to see, yeah, how it's going to go. So, of course, I'm not starting with eyes. I still don't know where they're going to live on my paper. Yeah. So... Let's go with the, also with the, yeah, so this was, ah, okay, here, the bottom, you haven't seen. Yeah. And, and the nose, very big, yes. Don't be scared to make it big. It's almost, we can even measure. Let's measure it to be more precise. So I take my pencil. Here one, so you see the space between eyes to, and till nose is the same size of nose. So let's say if I'm saying my eyes are somewhere here maybe. And also pay attention that one eye is bigger than the other. Yeah, and why is that you say? It's because the cow has turned he the head. So we see the right side of the cow's face more. Yeah. Okay, maybe one eye is not in the good position. I'll still have to check. Yeah, but the main idea I wanted to tell you that the nose of the cow is big. It's also because it's coming kind of in front. Yeah, the cow is coming out of the tulips. Here I already can sketch some tulip. Yeah, for example, when sketching those parts that are like definitely black, I can color a bit straight away. Yeah, so, for example, here I also did a bit maybe narrow nose. I need to widen up a bit. Yeah, so take your time, do your sketch. And if you have any doubts or want to share, then just show me how it's going then maybe we can correct something yeah so here this was, was this is important to listen inside feeling i was like hmm this eyes is a little bit too far away yeah and i was correct now i measure with the nose the eye should be somewhere here yeah so you you feel free to use lots of razor and yes, and here on the face, I also sketch a bit those colorful shadow parts. This, ah, that's a sweet cow turning up.
And again, maybe changing a bit the position of nose. Yeah. So the tulips, of course, come last ones. Yeah. Like currently, what how much space we have left. Then we do the the tulips. Yes, and with the ear, ears, I did the trick, like they're a bit combining with flowers. So the ear is ending kind of somewhere, not really sure where, because the, there is a flower coming in. And what's the story with the flowers? The story is that the ones that are at the bottom, they are bigger. And the ones that are on top of the page, they become smaller. Because then we try to show them like they are far away, there is the field or something. And you see, I'm not very precise with making flowers at all. I do something like more those circles with some inside lines. So it's more like general shape. Yeah, so it's not that important to... Yeah, and here already the back of the cow, small ones. Ha, huh, this is my sketch. Yeah, so what, what's to put attention to? Dark parts of the cow. Noses, mouth, eyes, then we have shadow on the left side. Yes, and the horns, they also kind of have, because they're round, curvy, so there is also shadow under. Yeah. Yeah, so no worries, I'm waiting. Yeah, take your time, girls. It's still, um, it's important to do the sketch. Um, although with pencils, one can actually, yeah, it's not like, I think the watercolors are the most important when doing um, the sketch. Because afterwards you kind of have no time to think or to change because you need to work very quickly with watercolors. And pencils, they are more forgivable. I think I finished my sketch. Ah, nice, nice. Yay. Uh, maybe try to check the position of the eyes. I feel maybe they are a bit too far away, one from each other. Maybe they need to be a bit closer on, on, on your drawing. Just check. Look, here my eyes, they're almost on, like, this one on top of the nose. And this one, okay, this one is a bit to the side, yeah? Also, maybe here I did to close. Um, yeah, Ellie. This is just the feeling, like you showed me. I said, aha, nice cow. But maybe the eyes can be a bit closer. Because still the face of the cow is a bit more like, it's almost like rectangular. This one is mine. 
All right, let me check. A bit up, a bit up, please. Ah, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, I like it. I think it's good. Yeah. Yeah, also, maybe try. You remember the task, how we are doing the, the checking. So, for example, I can always check some things vertically. Yeah, so I say, okay, where the is, eye is living. I put vertical line and I see, aha, where the nose is ending. And where is this eye living? And I put the straight vertical line and I say, aha, it's kind of outside. Yeah, so you're right there, like more outside. Yeah? And okay, they're almost, yeah, there is a bit. So we always check those like vertical, horizontal, but your sketches are good girls. Yeah, yeah. I'm already just making more, trying to, you know. And what kind of pencils you have? We, we haven't worked with pencils yet. Aha, uh -huh. how many co colors is there in there? Maybe 64. 64. On the front, it says 64. So. 64. Oh my God, that's like a lot. Wow. Then you are like ready to go, huh? How much I have? My box doesn't say I can count. Okay, I have something like 35. Yeah, so you're definitely gonna have it fine. All right, then let's start. Let's start with the colors. So I suggest we actually start with um, precising a bit the dark points. So I will precise the mouth. The, the, the spots of nose, the eyes, and the horns. So this will give a stable shape to my cow. Yeah? What colors I take? For the eyes, let's say, of course, I can take black, the dark, although there is a bit of orange. Take a look, there is a bit of orange in the eye of, of the cow. Yeah, so it's not only the... So for example, when we do the eyes, we can study it close. Yes, this is like little black spot, a bit orangey and eyelashes, very small. And this one, this one has this classical white, uh, white highlight. Yeah, so, and for example, nose, this one is already a bit lighter because again, we, we said, the shed, uh, the light is coming from this way. So it's very important. Look, here is the shadow. All this part, you see, it's a bit purplish. It's in the shadow. And this nose also a bit darker in the shadow. And this one, it's already a bit like red, pinkish, more light. Yeah. So th these details are important as an artist. Um, yeah, the people, when looking, they will not notice it. But you as an artist have to think of them, show, so then it looks realistic. So this is what I do. I take my black pencil and I just kind of precise a bit my eyes. Yeah. Oh. So one eye is bigger. We see it a bit more. The other eye is hidden. That's very nice. Maybe I can work straight away with some orangey. Yeah. Working with pencil will be a little bit like working with oil pastels. You will have like five, ten pencils at the same time in, in your hand. You do something with one, you drop it, you do another, and it's like continue jumping. 
Mm. So, and my nose. I have also kind of a bit dark, black purplish, let's say. Yeah, so I can have something purplish, a bit more black on top. Because pencils we can also mix. Mm. Let's say when I put yellow and green, I can mix them the same as if when we use paint. So I have one nose, like purplish. The other would be a bit orangey brown. I can put some red here and a bit darker here in the middle. Then maybe I can go here on top with carving the shape of general nose. Huh? But also no worries, we're gonna be coming back and back to these important details. Yeah, so let's say now we put some base, but later um, when we proceed, when we do more, we always come back to for the touch-ups. Yeah, for the mouth, I do as well, a bit purplish, a bit blackish. Mm -hmm. So then I can mark horns. Look, this horn is a very nice exercise of light and shadow showing the shape. Yeah, so we need to put black at the bottom. I put a bit brownish in the middle. And then something very light on top. So in the end, I kind of, it gives the, the feeling of Um, the feeling that it is round, yeah, our horn. And again, the same story as with the noses. The other horn is a bit lighter. Yeah, so we think of this light and shadow story. Ha! Huh. Looks funny a bit. Horns, eyes, nose. Yeah, let me color. I will color all the nose pinky inside. Yeah, and here comes the story of how I'm pressing my pencil. You can feel it. If I press it harder, then it goes, um, yeah, then I have more intensity, brighter. So actually with the same pencil, I can make different, different feelings. Mm -hmm. And here also make a bit all darker, all the side of where the purple nose part is. It's all darker. Good, good, good. Well, now I took just kind of, uh, I took a black pencil and I'm just repeating a bit some outlines, uh, but also not too much. It's better to have them in more natural color, like orange. Yeah? So, so let's say already inside the face of the cow, then I'll be changing between yellow and orange and some brown. Am, am I rushing? Am I rushing too much?
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will slow down. I will slow down. Sorry, sorry. Yeah. So tell me which which moment are you now? I think I'm gonna do like the bottom part of the nose. The mouth, okay, yeah. So you continue working. I I'm waiting for you, and I will just repeat again a bit all the story with the nose and mouth. Yes. So we have we we've decided light is coming from right side. So all the left side is a bit darker. Yeah, so this kind of dark purplish nose I did. And here I put a bit brownish. And then the mouth, yeah, I'm putting here a bit blackish. And it's something like not, you can't really say what shape it is where the mouth is. It's a bit like a horizontal line. Yeah, and the bit coming on top, this darkness. No. And then we said that our right nose is a bit reddish because, yeah, again, of this light thing. And then on top, I did the outline of the nose. So all pinkish in the middle. And then a bit already dark when coming up for the, the face on top. Right. Here, I'll put a bit, a bit closer, maybe you can see better. So this is what I have now. Yeah. And so this is the thing changing pencils all the time i take orange i take brown i take red then black again so this is like the way uh, one works with pencils yeah so yes the cow will be not easy the cow is um, a bit complicated. It's like a face, yes. If we if we draw a face of person, it's also it's harder. Yeah, it has lots of different small parts, small shadows, changing all the time. Uh, but then when we get the tulips, then we can have more fun. Sweet little cow. So you continue working, and I will just a bit explain. Yes, the next step when when we do it together, it's also noticing those light areas. Yes. So as an artist, you should understand and try to see these not as the face of the cow, but as the spots of light and shadow. Light and shadow, yes? It's constantly jumping. Here is light, here is shadow. The, the form, the shape is changing and we get light in one part and we get shadow and so on. Yeah, and then once you can kind of find it, um, the, the, the correct position, then it looks similar. Yeah? Um, especially, let's say, for the portrait of, um, of the person. Mm -hmm.
Yes. So then in one moment, yeah, you can tell me when I can do this and we do together, we do all the yellow spots. So these, if you can see the drawing, these are the lightest areas here around the eye, on the right side of the nose, a bit here, a bit on forehead. Yes, and this is making our cow's shape. Ready to move on now. Oh, thank you, Ellie, for telling me. So I have my yellow. I will be pressing pretty hard straight away because I know yellow is a bit weak. So I go here around my nose. Yeah. And very important, under my black eye, I also put some bright yellow. Yes, here in the middle of the nose, maybe a bit. I will go more orangey than later there. Yeah. Here on top of my violet nose. I, I will finish now and I will show you closer. Yeah. And our cow looks very colorful. But the story that we're using here, I'll show you now here. Oh, oh. We use, let's say, purple for the shadow. Yes, yeah, so we use yellow for the light and purple for the darker parts. So here for the eye, what I had, I had a bit yellow under, and then I did orangey because it's already not so light. And then there came a bit some shadow. And why this shadow is there? It's because the shape, the shape of the cow is this way. Yeah. And then I can very, I can calmly color. I'm mixing purple and a bit reddish here on the side of the face. Yeah? And don't forget, you can control how dark it is. Yeah, because I might want some areas to be lighter. And I control just by how hard I'm pressing the pencil. Mm -hmm. And then I can already can play a bit with this here on top. Here I have a bit kind of this bluish, but honestly, I don't really, it looks a bit weird. It looks like too quite blue there. Maybe this time I'll change a bit. Maybe because of course the idea was to put light. Yeah, so this is like maybe. So now I put maybe light pink or something. Yeah, I'll show you now a bit closer again. This is what I have now. Yeah, so I did yellow parts around nose, under eyes, and then I did all this side. Um, shadow, yeah. Even maybe I'll go a bit more orangey on top of this yellow. It's a bit too bright. And yeah? the brightest yellow should be still on the right side rather than left. Mm -hmm. It's 
the same, the same old boring story of light and shadow. Can't do nothing. This is what we have that helps us to show the shape. Huh? Not easy, but here you go. Already almost more or less. Yes, and this is, imagine, this is we do for the face of a cow. Imagine when drawing a person. Whew. There is a really like, you need to be precise till each little piece where it's positioned. Yeah, because here I might get wrong a bit. Let's say maybe I did my nose a bit smaller or a bit bigger. But still people can say, okay, it's a cow. But once I change something in a portrait, that's it. People will say, ah, it doesn't look similar. Yeah. Yeah, I will come back a bit with the with the black. And you see, still, let's say, the, the new cow that I did still looks a bit different from this first cow. And why is that? It's exactly because I'm, I'm positioning some parts of your face in different position. And then it's changing the... Mm. Okay, the ears, I'm thinking, what's missing? Of course, at least the start. Here we have, like I've mentioned, we do only the start of the ears. But also here, so I took red, and I'm making my ears dark. And it also helps the outline for the face. If I'm again rushing, please let, let me know, guys, yeah? I understand this is new. We haven't been doing this before. Can be pretty tricky. Yeah, the areas I have mixed like reddish on top, and then I went with orangey and with blue, uh, sorry, yellowish. Our funny, funny cow. Yeah, today's lesson not very easy at all. Yeah, so please don't worry if it's turning out different or um, the cow is not easy. It's like a portrait, the most 
difficult thing in art, the portraits. So take it more like an experiment of working with pencils. Yeah. So yes, uh, and I will wait for you to continue with uh, with flowers. Yeah, I can put a bit closer again. Okay. So the story is staying the same. We have dark areas, we have light areas. Um, yeah, this theory of light and shadow doesn't matter if you're painting with acrylics, with watercolors, yeah, it goes everywhere. For example, this line is done. Ellie is still working. <gasps> a bit up, a bit up, please. Wow, Juliet. Hey, such an awesome one. Amazing. It looks like a muscular cow. <laughs> and it looks. I don't know what it reminds me, but it's so adorable. Yeah, let's give time to Ellie as well. I think I'm done. Aha, uh -huh, aha. Uh -huh. Good, good, good. Hey, the sweetie one. I, I find Ellie's cow, she's a bit like gentle. She's a bit more, you know, like, Maybe she's a bit shy or she's a bit like calm. And Juliet's cow is a bit more like, ha, huh, today I am the boss. <laughs> My cow looks like, instead of like a curved face, it looks more like a cat, like a square <laughs> cow. A pixel game cow. <laughs> so instead of moo, it will say meow. <laughs> or, or can it say like together moo meow yeah meow moo meow <laughs> funny okay girls let's analyze what's going on with flowers yeah just watch and think and and notice so as again as i mentioned 
in front they're bigger yeah the ones that also feel free to cover the face of cow with flowers yeah it will make only better that will be the feeling the cow is inside yeah so you see here is flower kind of just went on top also here on top and here at the back it's almost like just some lines very calm and very pale yeah, and small ones so we concentrate first on these main flowers and then let's say each flower separate what makes it flower a flower again my tongue is already tired but i'm repeating it's light light and shadow light and shadow yes yeah, so we need to show some part is darker then there is light part and so on yeah but color wise feel free you see here are some purple pinkish orangey yellowish red like yeah so let's say i start with this big flower here at the bottom yeah and on purpose i go on top of the face of the cow because i want to hide a bit the face so then kind of cow is inside the field and so here i did this kind of so one leaf shape i'll show you now almost all flowers will repeat a bit this similar shape yeah let's say i have one big petal and then there'll be something like inside a bit lighter yellowish and like side petal yeah so and then let's say i can put a bit yellow inside and yeah and usually it's like upper parts are a bit lighter yeah so upper parts are a bit lighter and then the bottom of the bud of flower is darker yes and here you will need to use like all your hand power to cover because like i'm pressing so hard with my pencil very very hard yeah and then i get yeah. but then again for example not covering not pressing hard all along the flower but in some area i press harder i make it darker and yeah so here it's more like a feeling we're creating a feeling the field of, of flowers yeah so we don't really need to be like super duper precise yeah and it's also kind of a lot we need to cover Yeah, so here for example i did at the bottom i did the second you see it's mostly like circle connected to the, like the half circle and on top is a bit like the small connecting part and yeah. of course some tulips can be a bit more open yeah, uh, so maybe here the other tulip the other big important tulip on the other side and again again the same story on top i put some yellowish so it looks lighter and i mix some orange inside yeah, i can mix some pinkish inside and the darker parts are coming more to the bottom 
dark red, some purple. And here we're running dark. I'm pressing, pressing hard, hard for the flower. And I'll show you now. Yeah, and here you go. This is my third flower, very easy. Again, one petal on the side, another petal, and then yellowish on top, and darker, yeah? We're not doing green. Green we're gonna do in the end. So let's say we're gonna position our flowers, and then we're like just to fill up the space that is left over, we're gonna do the green. Yeah? So what's another trick we combine with flowers? Like here, you can notice we do the sides of cow like a bit darker. So let's say maybe I pretend there are some flowers or maybe it's even part of the cow, the head. So just kind of also those like parts on the sides of the cow. Then I, again, I press harder with some reddish orangey, just also to create a bit contrast against the, the face of the cow. Yeah. It's also very cool to mix a bit purple inside the red. Gives like very nice, more intense. Yeah, so here I have created a bit like a more there. Yeah. And, well, it's going to be a long journey, lots of flowers. So, you can decide. Of course, then it's better to do bigger flowers. Then you're just going to need less flowers to do. Huh? Because imagine you're going to do tiny ones. Whew, then it's going to be like lots of lots of work to cover the page. Yeah? And of course, I mean, yeah, we can do, there is also a trick lots of artists use. They paint more detailed, more precise, some of the flowers. And the rest, it's kind of just, you know, coloring, like less, less precise. And um, yeah, that's very popular technique. It allows exactly this thing that we don't really need to be to draw everything. You draw some part and the rest, the viewer, yeah, the person who looks at your painting, it assumes that this is the, the rest is also flowers. But when you look to your like painting the rest is like some maybe strange lines and just like. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
So maybe it helps again, like we did it with the pencil, but maybe just go again with some um, pencil outline. Yeah, maybe also can help like maybe re-precise. Yeah, so you see here, I have like some curvy lines. And as usually one big petal, some half petal showing out. Yeah. And then we already color like Yeah, so here, I think it's awesome, but just a bit more like patience, no rush. Just do one flower after another. And... and don't forget about those like harder pressing parts. And so here is my progression with flowers on the left side. Yes, hard work today. That's true, that's true. But also, like the, the biggest work will be here, of course, at the bottom with bigger flowers. Like once you fill up the space, already the ones at, at the back, they'll be easy. It will be just kind of coloring to cover the, the area and... Yeah, and then I don't forget to go smaller for the flowers on top. Yeah, and there I even don't really draw the flowers. I'll show you now the lines I have. So right there you will say, huh? Just some. Yeah, so here on top, just some curvy lines, just showing kind of the the upper parts of flower.
For example, one is an artist, one could also do mixed media artwork. Let's say you do the cow in, in color pencils because you do it more maybe like detailed a bit, yeah. And then you just take maybe gouache or oil pastels and you do the flowers around because then it's um, yeah maybe a bit easier for the bigger area and also might give a different feeling because pencils will always be a bit more pale and paint of course will be always more bright oil pastels as well so this can be also a trick to show the cow is more inside and flowers are on top yeah. so yeah mi mixed media it's it's it has right to be no one says you can draw only with uh, one material it's yeah but so, but it's important to have your, let's say, explanation. Uh, why you're doing this material or another? Is there is a way to tell it what you want? Uh, like this or so. It is tiring. I'm already like, whew. Yeah, not even halfway done, but. What art requires work? But so later we can also experiment. We can finish this drawing. And then if you want, you can kind of do some touch-ups with, um, yeah, let's say paints or, or oil pastels, like if you want, you know, just in, in, in sake of experiment and put a bit more This color differences. All right, slowly, slowly, I'm reaching more topper parts 
it means already more something general yeah so not yeah so like from the level of ears more or less and up I go just with some curvy just with the upper lines and there I can also already like not press my pencil so hard and so try to show it all is already like far away it's Yes, and the ears, we have left them, let's say, unfinished. And it's exactly, it was in purpose, because we, as if we are hiding them in flowers. Yes, so also feel free to connect some flowers to the ears. Yeah, so you see the upper flowers I have covered completely different. Yeah, just some like I think I need to make extra flowers since my cow is so small on the page mm -hmm. that flowers that I'm making are the right size, but they don't go to like the edge of the page. I see, I see. Mm -hmm. what? What? Yeah, so of course you can work, yeah, take more time and work on more flowers. It's also, for example, 
I don't really need to go to the end of my paper. Yeah, maybe it's also the drawing that has also white borders. Yeah, like, why not? And then comes the question about the green color. So here we maybe we can compare a bit with and without the green inside. Because I'm a bit in doubt. Like, although green actually gives a nice touch up because everything is so reddish, orangey, yellow. So then we kind of break it out a bit. But at the same time, also without the green, it has its nice, nice feeling. Yeah. So here again, you can decide yourself. Will your drawing have some green, or you will stay just with the the warm tones? Yeah, I think I will, since I have two, I will leave one without the green, just as an experiment, how it looks. I finished mine. Oh my god. Ta -ta -da -da. Hey. <laughs> Very nice. I think a lot of flowers. That's like a lot of flowers. I agree. What about Juliet going a bit on top of the face? You, you didn't want to, or like, you know, like flowers covering a bit the face, like on purpose. What? No, I just sort of put the flowers around the face because I was used to backgrounds not being on top of things. Mm -hmm. Okay, but what you say, let's say, if some flowers are in front of the cow, so some flowers are not the background, some flowers actually closer to us yeah so but it's it's all fine your drawing is re very nice it's just like some extra for you to think you know like how how can i do differently or how it can look yeah but 
Uh, but amazing. What? Such a whew, hard job. So many flowers. Yeah. I'm still working on my many, 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 many flowers. <laughs> yes, there are many, 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 many. <laughs> That's true. Huh? So how did you like working with pencils? like it, but I think it would be better to do this one with watercolor to blend it in more. Mm, you see, you see? This is also cool. I, um, Tell me. Actually, I feel like if we did watercolor pencils, then like if we feel like we wanted to blend part of the drawing, we could just put water on it and blend it. Mm, very nice. I like you girls thinking already. Aha! Uh -huh different materials, how it will look like. Yes, yes, yes. It's already the professional voice talking in the artist. I remember when we did an art gallery and we used watercolor pencils and then used water pens so that they would get watery. Um, and then I think after a while, I stopped using the watercolor pencils for the gallery and then just started using marker. Mm -hmm. They're sort of like a mixed media gallery, but I don't know if we had any collage in it. Ooh, collage is also interesting, yes. Did put collage in it? I can't remember. Collage always wasn't my favorite because I don't like getting glue on my hands. Huh. No one likes that. When you get to peel it off, that's fun. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah, peeling off the glue is fun. <laughs> cool. Huh? Show me again, Juliet, your, your cow. Please. Aha, uh -huh. sweetie, sweetie, sweetie. So do, do you already also sign your works? Like, do you have your artist signature? Yes, I do. I used to have one, but then I didn't use it. What was it? What was it? I forget. Let's look at some of your earlier paintings. Actually, I think I forgot to put it on. Uh huh. Let's see. Let's check some of your earlier paintings. <laughs> Uh, cats, heart cats. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have many paintings hung up, you know. I know. Probably could have done better about classroom drawing time. Hey! I mean, the flowers is going okay. I feel like my blend on my cow worked good. Mm -hmm. I put light yellow, and then wherever the yellow was drawn, if the red, if the this red overlapped it, it would bring like a light orange. Oh yay! As, yes, pencils are also mixing and very beautiful. And. Take a red flower right next to another red flower. Where? Yeah. Here. Mm -hmm. Here. Right. Orange. Because it doesn't look good. It looks like two eyes. That would be creepy if you just found two eyes staring back at you. <laughs> oh, now I'm in another, like, purpley flower next to another purpley flower. My cow looks like it has pink hair with black eyebrows on it. <laughs> I to black out the black because it looked like it was angry. So I redesigned it. It actually looks like it's angry. It's like, <clears throat> well, she isn't. Mm -hmm. But when I tried to black it out, I just turned more salmon colored. Oh, I see. I see. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. 
You're tired? Not tired, but I'm just stretching. All right, if Juliet is finished, let's have a brainstorm for the next week. We could do a woodland scene, like a forest scene with animals in it. We could do someone painting a painting of what we're painting, and then in that painting, the other one is painting the painting that we're in, and then the <laughs> painting just keeps going on and on and on. And it's never, never ending painting. <laughs> and then it's just gonna be painting, 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 painting. <laughs> So, what about a woodland scene where some, where, with animals in it, where there is an artist in it, and it's drawing a picture of the forest with someone painting the forest and painting the forest and the painting. Ah. The forest. Actually, a nice idea. So, we, we have trees, we have forest animals, and then we have a painter in the corner sitting with his all, all his stuff. And exactly, so he's painting... A wood and also himself in there and so on and so on and then we can think we can try like how many times inside we can manage huh and then we can also add like a pond yay oh. pond is good water is always good so, so i'll write can... it down this reminds me of the painting the garden one. It wasn't a painting, it was just a drawing. But it was very nice, yes, this garden. It's so fun. let's let's try maybe the wood with pond will also look nice. It's hung up. Hey, speaking of which, we colored pencils in here this whole time. We only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And we don't have um much like shades of orange and stuff. All right. I'll stop recording since we're more or less finished. Mm -hmm. I think I'm done. Hey, what's this? There's